Right now it's November, but in the last week, Tora fans X had a big update, which was the Halloween event. So far, only two chapters of the event are playable in the game. The other two chapters will be available in the next few days in the Halloween Battle Pass. There are also Trinity Towers, the Scarecrow, the Flame Trooper, and the Riddick Tower. It was the third biggest update the game had so far. We have seen so many new things in the update. There were many good additions in the update, but I cannot forget the bad stuff that has happened in the last three days. We will talk about why Tora Pass X couldn't really keep up the success it had in the first weeks of release. I will only tell my opinions. These are my opinions. You can think different. I am not hating. Tora Fans X or either the TDX team, they are doing a good job with the updates, but I hate to make this video because I have so much to talk about, man. Before we get to the video, hit that like button and subscribe, that means a lot for me, but anyways. In this video, I am going to compare some things of Tora Fans X with Tora Fans Simulator because TDS also had a Halloween update, the last night, which was the third night, did release 2 days ago and it was pretty decent not gonna lie. I had a great time playing it. It kinda made the game have more concurrent players as you can see in the chart. There is a huge difference before and after the Halloween update. Both of the Halloween updates in TDX and TDS are very similar to each other and I get that because you know they are literally in a war but so far from what I see Tora Fan Simulator seems like it will be the winner of this battle. There are so many reasons causing that. So here is the first thing. Tora Fans X is delaying an event for the first time. The chapter 3 and 4 were meant to be out already but they are delaying both of the chapters. I think that's okay because the reason was that they don't have enough time to bring two chapters with unique poses and features. However the problem is why did they try doing this? It isn't that hard to guess. I think they tried to compete with TDS but I see that it didn't end that great because all we saw so far is the lengthy chapters. They are saying the game only has one scripter but be real with me man, hope this game can only have one scripter. The game literally has so many developers but there is only one scripter, that's a huge problem for the game. They really have to find a way to have more scripters because if they can get more, that means we will have bigger updates more regularly. That would help the game by a lot because I just don't think the Halloween update was that huge like hope they were mentioning it. The owner of the game was saying this will be the biggest update. Of course we haven't seen the chapter 3 and 4 so far. They will be unique, they will be very difficult and there will be so many new features in them. But the problem is again, those are limited things. After 2 months, they will be gone and the game will be the same again. There was something that I was expecting which was going to fix that, it was the nightmare maps. But you know, the nightmare maps didn't even release in the last month, they were meant to be out in September but yes, that never happened. It was something I was really excited for, I think the nightmare maps can release in this month or the next month but I have no idea to be honest. By the way I know that small delays can happen, it's normal, every game can have that and I don't really have any problem with it, we can wait man, it's not that deep. But the second part, the Halloween update is stuff entirely. The battle pass is again so hard to grind, the party system didn't release yet, there isn't any new ways to grind battle pass, they did promise about new ways to grind the battle pass but you know, because the chapters are delayed, we have never seen the stuff I mentioned in the game, I am thinking one of the new ways to grind battle pass will be the token boost they will give to the VIP players. I think you will earn 20% more tokens if you have the VIP game pass which seems interesting because lately they have been adding new features to the VIP game pass. Do you think that's a good idea? I mean it's okay if you ask me because they also need to earn cash you know so it's okay man they can do that. The chapters we had so far are the chapter 1 and 2, they weren't something that special. The chapter 1 was something very usual, the chapter 2 was just a little bit different because of the multiple path feature it has. Literally after nearly a year of waiting, we got a new feature which actually made the game feel different than before. It's so good to see they will do more things like this in the future, it makes the game more entertaining. But the bad thing is, the game makes you have to grind 19,000 tokens just to get the relic tower which will take you tens of hours of playing. The grind in the battle pass is just so difficult like the Tor battles battle pass. I still think the Tor battles battle pass was better than this one. At least the skins were great and not that random and even the towers were fantastic. They are the favorite towers of many people including me. The feeling of that tower is just awesome in my opinion. 
But we are literally talking about the towers. Let's get to the third part. The third subject we will talk about are the battle pass rewards. Are you sure that the new event towers are unique? The skill crow is from Tower Battles. The flame trooper is a tower every Tower Defense game has and the relic tower is the graveyard from Tower Battles. I feel like we have been getting every tower in Tower Battles added to the game. I wish we could see unique towers instead of that. Like in Tower Defense Simulator, we saw some different towers. The Harvester and the Hollow Punk towers are really different. I was also expecting for TDX to do something like this, but we didn't really see any tower which is that unique. I mean the relic tower is fun to use but it's kinda outdated, I don't know man, the tower feels weird to use. We also know that it will get a rework in the future so I think it will be better but we will see. Actually my favorite tower is the flame trooper, I like it and it's very useful. It also has a cool ability which makes it even better, I think out of all these 3 new towers it was really my favorite. We also have the scarecrow tower but it's nothing that important, it's really just a tower for baiting the bosses. Next up we have the skins in the battle pass, I have to say that they are not that great and they are not even worth grinding for. Most of them look like they were made in an hour which makes Halloween battle pass worse than the Tor battles one in my opinion. I expected better skins to be honest, look at Tor Defense Simulator, look at the skins they have in the battle pass and look at the skins we have in Tor Defense X. They need to do better about the skins in my opinion because the skins are actually very important for a game like this. Not gonna lie, I think every type of cosmetic is important as much as new towers or new game modes. But anyways anyways, we continue with a big problem, the next subject, only in Tor Defense X. Do you think that sentence is true? Let's look at the game, was there that's only in Tor Defense X? The game was adverse sight with this sentence a year ago. All of the players were very excited to see a brand new Tor Defense game with unique features. In the first week of release, the game had a huge hype and literally for a week the game was going crazy and it was becoming very popular. It was the only time Tor Defense X won against Tor Defense Simulator. After that, Tor Defense Simulator decided to go competitive and they hired so many new developers. It's always good to see competition because without competition, the stuff will always be the same and we will never see something new then. But really, is Tor Defense X that unique? Is it unique? What do you think? There are some stuff which are unique such as naval towers, for example, the petal boat and the warship, but other than that, it's so hard to see something that only belongs to Tor Defense X. In a year, we only saw great game modes with unique bosses. That's right, the game modes in the game are unique and they are not copy of each other. I was hoping the game to have unique towers too, but I guess we never had that. Nearly every tower in the game is taken from another Tor Defense game, for example, the Tor Battles and Tor Billies. But first, let's talk about Tor Battles. In Tor Battles, we can see some similar towers. I mean, it's normal because Tor Defense X and Tor Battles had a collab two times in this year, which is insane. They would, of course, take some stuff from Tor Battles and add it to Tor Defense X. But doing that same thing every update isn't that great. By that, I am saying that. They added some towers from Tor Battles in the Tor Battles event, but they are doing the same thing again with the Halloween update. The towers have different designs, but they are literally the same concept. I don't think the towers are unique. They never feel unique to me. I think only in Tor Defense X is really true, right? What do you think, man? But anyways, next up, we have something more interesting. We have a Tor Defense game, which was the best Tor Defense game 3 years ago, is Tor Billis. The first Tor Defense game which had two passive upgrades on Roblox, Tor Defense X took a huge inspiration from this game and most of the people have no idea about that. You should go and check some things in Tor Bilis and you can see there are literally so many things which are very similar, some towers, some features and so much more. Do you still think the sentence only in Tor Defense X is true? I don't really think it's true to say that but you know it's okay man it doesn't matter a lot anymore but I just wish it was true. I want to see unique things in the game, I know the chapter 3 and 4 of the Halloween events seem like they will be unique. The chapter 3 is basically defend the circle, but there is an artillery in the middle. Every enemy will be also able to damage your towers, which may either be good or bad. It can get so overwhelming, but you know, that can make it boring. They have to make sure the event won't be that hard or that easy. The difficulty has to be something that can fit this type of game mode. By the way, that isn't even unique either because even Tor Defense Meter had events like that in the past few years. Most of the people didn't like this type of events because they were boring, man. How do you think this will be for Tor Defense X? We will see that very soon. I hope it will be different and it will work out for this game. But to be honest, 
That's all I can say in this video. All of these are my opinions and you can of course think different than me. Let me know what you think in the comments. I liked Halloween update by the way. I think the next chapters will be amazing and fun to play. Thank you for watching. Have a good day or night and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.